Hey guys, I am at Miyako River State Park in Sarasota, Florida. Kevin and I are in the RV this weekend. We have a long weekend, four days to enjoy this place. And Kevin gets to do a lot of the birding he loves to do because this place is spectacular for wildlife. We came in yesterday afternoon and immediately began seeing deer and the wild hogs, alligators, and all kinds of birds. <laughs> it was raining probably most of the day yesterday. As soon as we started loading up the Jeep in the uh, driveway, <laughs> it started raining. But yeah, we got here, it was raining, and it lulled for a little while, and that's when we were able to kind of get out and take a little bit of a look around. And first thing this morning, Kevin got out and started doing some birding. So I thought I'd come out and see if I can spot some wildlife this morning. There's quite a bit out here, actually. A lot of birds, a lot of gators, um, some deer. But uh, just watching an ibis flying right now. But yeah, I thought I would come out and um, see what I could see. And maybe show you a little bit. Cindy's back at the RV, uh, relaxing. And I thought I'd get out this morning and uh, do some photography. Bunch of ibis over here foraging. So I'm at the bird walk. It's a boardwalk basically that goes out into the lake. And I'm gonna see if there's anything out here. A lot of black bellied whistling ducks making noise and flying. Maybe I can spot a few. really nice out here this morning it's quiet not a ton of action going on as far as um photography i think the water is a little too high so a lot of the wading birds um are not going to be in this area right now but it's still pretty nice it's an immature little blue heron hanging out Carolina Wren, see if I can spot them and get some video. Well, that was a pretty good day of photography. I got to see some deer and some alligator, a couple of hawks. The Carolina wren was pretty cool. And um, saw a bunch of black bellied whistling duck, but they're pretty skittish. So anytime you get close enough, they, they take off and, and you can't really get a good picture of them. But uh, it was pretty fun. So now I'm gonna head back to the RV and see what Cindy's up to. I'm just relaxing, spending time with the kitties, having my coffee. There's no cell service here. So I'm just having to entertain myself <laughs> the old fashioned way. It's been nice. In a little bit, I will 
show you guys the campsite because it was raining so much yesterday afternoon we didn't set up the rug and the tablecloth and all that yet uh, so today we're looking forward to maybe doing a cookout we don't know the, the there is rain in the forecast for this afternoon but with the rv we have an awning so i don't think it's going to stop us from enjoying ourselves it just might mess up a campfire we'll see <laughs> Kevin's back. <laughs> Just pulled in. Hello. Hello. I made you a smoothie and a peanut butter toast. Oh, it smells good and it sounds good. <laughs> Blueberry, banana, and strawberry with oatmeal. Cool. I couldn't wait. I went ahead and had mine. Huh. Oh, wow. It is pouring. It may be just the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> we may have to take the awning down. We were just about to head out. We thought, well, if it's going to rain, we'll go somewhere where there's some service, cell service, and download a movie or something like that, or a book or whatever for tonight to entertain ourselves. So now we're thinking we got to wait for take this awning down. <laughs> hey, we're just rolling with the punches. We've managed to download a movie and a bunch of books, so we should be good if this rain does not stop today. <sighs> it's our luck! <laughs> Still nice though. Yeah, we'll make the most of it. We have sunshine! <laughs> <laughs> it's looking pretty promising for a fire tonight. <laughs> Let me show you the campsite. It's a poultry site. And these are good sized sites. It's full hookup. Sewer, 30 and 50 amp electric and water. Somewhat private. Some of them are a little more private than others. Has a nice fire ring. Right now, we don't have a neighbor on this side. Somebody may come in later. But it's really nice. Beautiful Dahoon Holly right there. We brought our bikes, hoping to do a little biking. And it has, next to the bikes, <laughs> a standing grill. picnic table which we moved over under the awning just in case it does start raining again so yeah <laughs> the weather may start cooperating depends on what it's going to do the rest of the afternoon and tomorrow but we're still having fun <laughs> I, think it's fun I hope so yeah. we got the fire going <laughs> this is what we're having for dinner we're having the foil packets with our vegetables inside them and spices. Mine, I decided I am going to be adding this green Thai curry sauce by Mike's. I'll mix it up with these veggies, close it all up, and then when the fire is ready, we will put them on kind of in between the coals and hopefully it won't take that long. This is something we haven't really done before, so we'll, we're kind of experimenting. We've seen a lot of people do it, and so we have an idea. I'm going to put another layer just for safe measure here because that sauce was a lot thinner than I thought. But we'll see. 
So we have a mixture of logs and charcoal briquettes. And I'm worried this is a little too hot, but we'll see. We're gonna give it 15 minutes and then check them. Boy, I could really hear it sizzling in there. We checked it at about 15 and then decided to go another, what would you say, Kevin, 10 minutes? So 25 minutes. And it is definitely done. <laughs> Woo. I was a little worried about the corn, but the potatoes are very done. So yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Look at that sauce in there. Let me plate it and I'll just give you a better look. I also made some red lentils to go with it. It's potatoes, carrots, bell pepper, onion, and green peas with that Thai seasoning that I showed you. So let's see how it tastes. I can taste the Thai seasoning just in that carrot. So I know it's gonna be in these potatoes. It's really hot right now. This is delicious. Oh, yeah, I'll be doing this a lot. <laughs> this is so good. And I'm amazed at how these red lentils turned out. I cooked them in the Instant Pot and I just added some sauteed garlic, sauteed onion, and some spices. I'm trying to remember what all I added. I think it was paprika, uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper, salt, pepper. Um, I may have added thyme. I can't remember. I probably will never be able to duplicate them in a vegetable bouillon. And for some reason, it just turned out really good. This, this whole meal is going to be great. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> yeah, we're going to eat. <laughs> Yours is good, right, Kevin? Delicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The water is up. I know. No, last time this area was packed with gators. I think the water's so high they got a lot of places to go. Yeah, I think you're right. some little babies back in there. Maybe you can get it with your camera. Yeah. All right, we're going to check out the canopy walk. Nice little shady hammock to walk through. It's a beautiful morning. I think we're supposed to get some rain later today, but we're taking advantage of this nice weather.
Well, that was cool. <laughs> Last time I was here at this park, they had the top of that canopy walk closed. You could walk the bridge part, but the top where you go up really high was all closed off. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. It's tall. <laughs> really tall. <laughs> I forget how long this little nature trail is, but once you get past the canopy walk, you can do like a loop and go back to the parking lot, or you can just shortcut it. They have a, a trail that, kind of a spur trail that makes it a shorter walk. And uh, I'll put on the bottom of the screen here how long this one is. Not afraid of people at all, are you? I'm not feeding you. No, I'm not. You're a beggar. You're a beggar. No, I'm not gonna feed you. We're at the outpost area right now. The outpost is undergoing renovations, but they have a little portion of it open and then you can take a tour here. They have tour boats that go out onto the river and then also you can rent canoes and I think you can rent kayaks. I'm not sure. You can definitely bring your own. But a lot of activity here. <laughs> So we're getting ready to leave here. We're all packed up except for a couple little things. We got the awning that's got to come down and Kevin's going to be hooking up the Jeep. So we got the tow system set up for the Jeep and that's really nice because it's nice to be able to take this with us. It's a blue ox tow bar and system I guess block break and then these just hook on to my um, off-road bumper which is nice so I don't need an extra base plate or anything to hook to these are the safety cables I want to make sure you hook up and then this is the cable for the lights And this is the uh, breakaway cable for the brakes that comes disconnected from the from the from the RV. And this will pull the breakaway that'll engage the braking system on the Jeep so it'll stop it. Whew, it's hot out here. Now I just gotta put the brake in the, in the Jeep. This is pretty easy to set up. It just goes on the floor of the Jeep. This um, piece right here goes onto the brake pedal. Plug in power. And this is the breakaway plug that goes in. Then you want to pull the seat up all the way to the front of this. We're gonna turn the power on. And so, there we go. That light's green, it's ready to go.
pretty simple setup and it's nice to have the Jeep with us when we take the RV. It's been a nice weekend. This is a nice campground. It's my second time, actually it's our third time being here. We were here years ago in a, before this camp, this campground loop was ever even here. Uh, they have two other campground loops and we stayed in one of those years ago. Then last time I was here, I was just a couple sites over in the van. And this is our first time here in the RV with the kitties. <laughs> but we had a good time. This campground loop is definitely the one. It's the Palmetto Ridge loop. It's the one you want to be at if you have an RV. The other one, the sites are very tiny. And also they're not as private. This is fairly private. And it's been really quiet here. I, maybe because the, the, so much rain was in the forecast, maybe a lot of people canceled. Because when I made this reservation, it was packed. I felt like I was very lucky to get, we got it four nights, four days, three nights here and I felt lucky to get it. But uh, the site next to us, we had somebody come in last night, but for two nights they weren't, it was empty. So, <laughs> and that other campground loop was practically empty when we went through there on the bicycles. But yeah, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope you liked the video. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you did, please. And I will see you next time. Bye.